Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. I have been trying to film this clip for the past 30 minutes and I decided to give up on doing it on my big camera and just like set up the vlog camera because I feel like I'm able to talk to the vlog camera a little bit easier if that even makes any sense. Um, but essentially, I wanted to come on here and just talk about what's been going on. Obviously, we've all seen the news and it's been a really overwhelming and emotional and eye-opening week to say the absolute least. And there's no way that I could like come on here and just like post a regular video without talking about it, but also a video of this nature that I realize is very like, pretty superficial in the given circumstances and the state of the world at the moment and I'm very aware of that. I am planning on filming a vlog later on this week where I'm going to have a conversation about this in that video as well. I think it's obviously really important to keep the conversation going and open up that space but also to um, this video wasn't like meant to be that way. I have been working on this video for a while and so I wanted to get it out because um, in order for me to be able to make money, to contribute, and to donate to these causes, I need to be able to make an income, and that's why this video, all the AdSense for this particular video, will be going to Black Health Alliance. I'll have their website linked down below if you want to go check them out, but um, yeah, I definitely want to like do my part and do what I can, and one of the things I'm able to do is donate, and so by watching this video, maybe you guys haven't had the means to contribute yourself, but no that by watching this video you are contributing so um that's like honestly the least i could do in this circumstance and definitely not the last thing because there's a lot more work to be done and um with all of that being said i did want to come on here and just talk to you guys about that before we get into this video because if you don't follow me on instagram or twitter you wouldn't have seen any of my posts from this past week and where i stand maybe on this and obviously i think it's pretty clear that i support the black lives matter movement and i think it's a really important thing and there's a lot a lot of things that i personally need to do and to kind of expand into my own little circle because i do truly think that all of this has to do um it has to start with like your own personal bubble with your friends your family having those uncomfortable conversations and just kind of opening up the floor because this is something that none of us I'm assuming have really like known how to talk about in the past. I certainly haven't and not on a public level, a public, struggling with words, a public level by any means and so I'm always afraid to say the wrong thing and so with all of that being said I just wanted to make it very clear that I am in support of the Black Lives Matter movement and all of the stuff that is going on. It's pretty incredible this past week how long it's felt but also how much has changed and how much has been brought to light so I just want to continue the conversation. I know that um, maybe some people don't agree with having distractions right now but I did want to get back to posting my regular content because in order for me to make money to contribute I do have to post um, and so I just want to make that very clear that I'm very aware of what's going on and I'm doing a lot of our own learning. Cody and I are having lots of conversations and different things like that but I will touch on that hopefully in a vlog coming up where you guys can hear more and I can talk about it in more depth. And on that note let's go ahead and jump into this patio makeover video that I have been promising you guys for months and it's finally done and I'm really excited about it so let's just jump into the video and um yeah I love you guys so much thanks so much for watching the video First step in any makeover process is decluttering and cleaning out the space that you are going to be remaking over and so for us the patio had a lot of work to be done because we hadn't really touched this area since the end of last summer there's a lot of furniture here a lot of clutter main thing was that we wanted to part ways with the barbecue because it wasn't really being used as much and we could fill that space with something more useful and that brought us a bit more joy um, and so I wanted to clean that off and part ways with that and also this striped beach carpet that we got at Michael's a couple years ago has been really great it's a great little outdoor carpet to have but I'm kind of over the stripes and I wanted to get something a little bit more permanent and neutral so that has got to go and then I just had a lot of extra like gardening stuff and 
essentially like just random stuff that needed to be tidied up and then once all of that was cleared out i did go ahead and wipe down the siding while cody was wiping down the barbecue just kind of cleaning up the space in any area we can is nice and wiping windows and the siding and stuff because that's not really something you would normally think of to clean off but when you're going through a makeover process and you know tidying things up for the summer anyway it's kind of nice to do it really keeps the area well cleaned and well kept and I figured why not I'm here and so I also decided to scrub the tile that was under the carpet again not really a necessary step but I wanted to really clean the area to make sure it's all good to go to have new furniture and pieces put in all right so the sun is going down it is the end of day one of our little patio makeover so we cleaned everything up today i got rid of anything i didn't need anymore we got rid of the barbecue we got rid of this um beach mat thing that we had as a carpet that's gonna go down in storage and maybe we'll use that at the beach and stuff but i also cleaned up the tiles everything looks really good i'm hoping that when we get the ikea furniture it'll fit nicely this way like along there and also the hanging baskets i have kindly asked my friend hannah to make us another one because i have another one of those plants and so we can hang it over there but we'll see everything's looking a lot cleaner obviously the tiles and stuff need to dry but now we're just waiting for the new carpet and the new couch it is the day after we did the full patio cleanup and it's a real good thing we did because I got a call really early this morning saying that our Ikea delivery was going to be coming today and I got a call saying that they're ahead of schedule so we're gonna get our delivery early. I don't know if this delivery is just the couch or it's the couch and the other stuff I ordered in which the other stuff I ordered also has a rug and obviously we wanna put the rug down first but if we just get the couch today, fine by me we can build it and put it out there but i'm so excited obviously with everything going on i was totally expecting the delivery to be a little bit later but when i purchased it i think on monday it said that an estimated delivery date of friday so they're you know being true to their word which is really great so i'm very excited to build it i know that some people like hate building ikea furniture but like i kind of crave it i might regret saying that but we'll see have the couch assembled but we decided to maybe try it out without having an extra arm just because it might fit the space better I did have to move my planter box over but I can probably move it back these cushions were so hard to put on but we did it and it adds so much height when we first got it and was building it we definitely thought like wow this is gonna be a really low to the ground couch but this doesn't look too bad these ones aren't as like full that looks so good though they need a steam cute i mean it'll get there first test okay the bottom cushions are firm but that's good but this is comfy i like it i think i don't know i feel like we might end up putting the other arm on obviously everything else is cluttered we have to reorganize and also when our rug comes we're gonna have to lift everything up anyway and put the rug down but not bad pretty comfy i'd say what do you think? It's good. It's good? See, that's the appeal of possibly keeping the arm off. But it's so slidey, like it moves around and I feel like it would contain everything. Right. I don't know. In this section of the video, 
video I'm going to be sharing with you guys all of the items that I picked up to decorate the outside to make it more comfortable and I really wanted to kind of go with a very neutral palette for this a lot of the things outdoors as you guys saw before was super like bright and colorful and I'm just like so over that and so I wanted to show you guys the few things that I purchased online to kind of spruce up the area this is pretty well the one thing I didn't buy online and I thought that it would go really well with the macrame hanging baskets that I have out there that my lovely friend Hannah made for me um, I wanted like a mirror and I was actually going to put this mirror outside but I love it too much and it's really cute there so I'm gonna leave it here and I ended up picking up this like white wicker eyeball thing it just has like a regular picture hook so I can command hook it out there and it looks really good it's super cute so that is the decor piece that I have that's gonna go on the wall next up is H&M home and if you guys know me I love H&M home their decor items are really really awesome they have such a good selection so much of it fits my aesthetic and it's pretty inexpensive too it's like really reasonably priced so I got a couple things from there the first one was a throw blanket for out there it's this white and charcoal striped blanket and it's like a little bit on the like it's not super soft but I didn't want something that was like going to be like you know a nice soft blanket outside I wanted something a little bit more textured and so it has tassels I really like it and the charcoal goes really nicely with the siding of our house I also picked up two pillow covers these are their conscious covers I believe yeah they're conscious organic cotton covers so I got it in beige and then the pillow inserts I have for these pillows are from Ikea and so this is what it looks like on the pillow it's a nice like again textured fabric that I think will do well outdoors and the fact that I can just like take this off and wash it when it gets dirty is really great and definitely a must when I was looking for outdoor pillows and the last thing I picked up from H&M home is one of my favorite things I got and it's a new watering can it's just a black matte watering can I did want the gold one but it sold out pretty quick um so I picked up this one it looks really nice out there it fits everything really nicely and it holds a lot of water so it's a good watering can next up is something I ordered from indigo online and I wanted to keep it to show you guys but I am I'm actually going to be returning it because I don't think I have a need for it it's quite big I thought it would be a little bit smaller but it's basically just this like wicker tray I thought it would be cute but the wicker doesn't really go wet very well with like the couch out there it's a little more on the green tone um, and yeah it's just like it's kind of big so it would be good if I had a bigger patio but I don't and so I'm going to return it because I don't need it and the last place I grabbed things from was Ikea so you guys know that I got the couch from there the outdoor carpet we did also pick up a new table which you guys will see in that end final reveal but I did grab some pillows from there as well so we grabbed four of these pillows and then I grabbed two cushion covers in just like a charcoal striped pattern that I thought would go really nicely with beige and the blanket so here's what that pillow looks like with the cover on I think it looks really good and goes with the beige quite well keeps everything really neutral and these are really really fluffy pillows which is exactly what I wanted for outside so they can be used on the couch or on the chairs wherever they need to be used they're quite fluffy so that is pretty much it those are all the things that I bought for the decor portion of the outside let's go out there and style it seen now that everything is in its place but I did kind of want to do a traditional little like patio tour to talk you guys through a couple things first off biggest recommendation this patio carpet has changed my life it has made everything out here so much more cozy and it just like kind of just feels like an extension of our apartment and makes it feel a lot more homey and comfortable so highly recommend that really glad I got this one love the color love the size we did end up keeping the chairs that we had previously these are from HomeSense 
we paid a lot of money for them so that's why we wanted to keep them and I'm just gonna stack them in the corner until we need them we sometimes eat meals out here and so it's nice to just have them tucked in the corner until we actually need to pull them out you guys saw that I originally had a pink table but I got rid of that because I didn't like that shade of pink and so I got this one from Ikea in a more neutral I love it and it does fold up so if we did want even more space out here we could fold it up and tuck it in the corner you guys have seen all the decor one thing I did want to mention about this couch in particular and one of the biggest selling points for me was the fact that it has storage. So these sides lift up and the whole inside is completely storage, which is amazing because you guys saw all the before clips of this. I had like dirt and bags of dirt and like all my gardening stuff just kind of out and this way I'm able to like tuck it and have everything super hidden and tidy and it makes such a difference and the last thing i quickly just wanted to touch on really briefly was all of my plants and my greenery because i believe it's like doubled since i started this whole project and i've really gotten into gardening and it's one of my favorite things and i just love looking over at this basically whole side of the patio that has a bunch of greenery so i'll show you guys what i have first off i wanted to quickly show you guys this because i didn't show it in my haul this is a little planter that i picked up from home sense it was on like clearance or something and I decided to make this a little herb garden so I have cilantro and basil not doing so great but I'm working on it and then I planted some flowers in the middle and they already have sprouts so this is really cute it can kind of fit wherever but it fits really nicely on the side of the couch so that's where it lives so in the corner I just picked up a jasmine plant it smells really really good and I wanted something kind of taller for the corner so that has a trellis that it can climb up next to that I have been trying to grow this like seed paper and it's just starting to poke through so that's what's in that pot and then you guys saw the herb garden and then beside that I do have some sweet peas and I had to like make shift to trellis for it to climb up as well I think it's nice having something that grows really tall and then beside that I just have some more wildflowers and in my big planter pot that I've had for quite a while I did add some new things I'm not actually sure what either of these flowers are but we have a new flower poking in here the only thing I know for sure is that we have lavender in the center and it is starting to come through which is really nice um, so yeah this is kind of just an assortment of flowers that are you know just trying to survive at this point but it adds a lot of greenery and it's doing pretty well from where it was a couple months ago And then the last little section here is we have the blue table that I'm going to keep because it kind of ties in with the green. But I bought these little sacks of planter dirt and then seeds. So this one is supposed to be mint. It hasn't come through yet, but I'm hoping it will. I also have some zinnias that are starting to poke through. Very exciting. And then my pride and joy and the thing that my cats are interested in the most is my pampas grass. And I put it in this really deep pink pot because you're supposed to have a lot of like length for it to grow and you probably won't see like the fluffy things for a couple of years but I'm really really optimistic about this and I'm very excited it's supposed to be pink pampas grass so that's what's in there and it looks really nice it is like green at least so yeah that is all my plants and that is the finished patio tour and I'm so happy it's done we have been spending so much more time out here and it's honestly become like one of my favorite spaces in our whole world so I'm really happy with it and I'm glad the decorating and the organizing is done now. <laughs> and that my friends wraps up today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and don't forget to share it with your friends because when they watch this video they are supporting the Black Health Alliance and the initiative that I'm going to be donating all of the AdSense money from this video to that organization and continuing to talk about this conversation on my Instagram and my Twitter and in future videos. So if you're new here and you want to subscribe I would really appreciate it. And yeah, I love you guys so much. I really hope you're doing well and taking care of yourselves and staying active and signing those petitions and using your voice, whatever platform you have, because you do have a platform and you do have like power with what you say and in your circle. So just keep that in mind. And yeah, I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next video. Have a great day. Bye.